Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Scott Allen on the line. He's co-founder and a digital marketing consultant over at Breakthrough Dental Marketing. Scott, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. All right, and uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic. So uh, marketing for medical practices, I mean, I know you are an expert in that area, um, but just to get us kicked off, let's get let's start off with you telling us a little bit more about what you're doing over at Breakthrough Dental Marketing, please. Sure thing. Um, we specialize in bringing, uh, it's pretty easy actually, we, we specialize in bringing more patients to your practice, be it a a dentist's office or a doctor's office or plastic surgeon, things like that. That's awesome. And uh, and, and I, I like getting a specialist like you on the line here today for our, for our audience because um, I, I always found that when I, when I have somebody on the line that's, that's kind of specializing in a specific niche, they usually have just a whole lot more to offer, not only to their clients, but also to the audience. So let's just jump right into today's topic. So marketing for medical practices. I mean, where do you want to start with that one? I think the the main thing is we've got a unique situation where we actually have uh, what they call in dentistry a wet finger dentist. So one of the partners with the firm is actually my personal dentist. He's a client and he's a consultant. So I think we have a unique insight into beyond just the marketing side of things, of, of things like how the practice operates the day in, day out, and, and really getting a deep dive into the, the business component of running a medical practice. And so can you talk a little bit more about the challenges that, um, that you know, the uh, medical practices kind of face in this marketing landscape? Because there's so much out there, and they're approached quite often. I mean, can you talk a little bit more about the challenges and what people should be thinking about? Well, outside of the obvious COVID-19 situation right now, it, when we're in a quote-unquote normal cadence, um, I think a lot of normal, mar you know, traditional marketing companies, going back to what I said earlier, don't understand that the lifeblood of a, of a medical practice is a steady influx of new patients and, and more importantly, the right type of new patients. And we do a little bit of pre-qualifying and, and targeting to make sure that you, know, you can make the phone ring off the hook, but if those are not patients that are actively looking to book an appointment and schedule time with the doctor, you're not only wasting the, the front desk time, you're, you're wasting the doctor's time and you're not doing what they ultimately hired you to do, which is bring in those the new patients to their practice. What are what are some of the um, the nuances of marketing for medical practices? So, meaning um, it's 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 a diff it's different, right? Trying to drive traffic with patients. Yeah, because they um, you're looking for, like I said, the the right type of patient, and you've got a a lot of times the medical professionals are are extremely well versed in the terminology, but something like organic search, people aren't looking for RCT or full mouth rehab or things like that. They're looking for, I have a problem, broken tooth, chipped tooth, painful tooth. And our job is to position their the ads that we're running and the search engine optimization so that the terms that people are looking for to find a dentist, the doctor, a podiatrist, whatever that may be, we're the solution to the, or we're the answer to that question. So that's the kind of the high level strategy of, of the nuance to it to make sure that we're positioning their website and their, their social media property. So if somebody's looking for their services, we have the answer to that, that query. What are some of the like the kind of the go to tools and or platforms that you that you prefer? Um, um, and again, this isn't going to be a catch all, right? Because you might use some for one client, another for another. But just some of the general ones that you um, that you prefer for driving traffic for um, medical practices. Uh, first and foremost is going to be organic SEO, and that plays into the the prevalence of mobile devices and mobile search is is almost at the point where it's 
it's 90% mobile search and 10% desktop search. So the the core component of our of our business to drive traffic and get the phone to ring is uh search engine optimization and then in some cases we will supplement that with some paid advertising some and that can be either Google Bing Facebook ads if we're to use a dental example if we're coming up on wedding season and we know that there's going to be a uh, a pretty big need for whiter, straighter teeth. We'll start running Invisalign or teeth whitening campaigns on the paid side to supplement the organic traffic that we're getting to give them a kind of a seasonal boost. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. No, totally, it totally, totally makes sense. And I'm I'm glad you gave that example because it shows that you're that you're thinking higher level strategy. This isn't just like a um, you know a, a cookie cutter approach, if you will. Um, so um, you can, and you know when you when you're doing a combination of paid and and SEO and adding kind of all these things together, um, it's just it's just a better experience. Um, does social play a role in this at all, or, or if so, how much? I'm just curious. It does, and particularly under the lens of reviews, because when somebody, as an example, if someone moves to a new town, the first thing they're going to start doing is researching dentists, and that's going to be. Um, sometimes driven by there. So it's so true, so true. Like you move to a new town, first thing you're like, oh man, I got a dental appointment. Ah, oh, comes up on your calendar reminder, and you're like, I don't even live there anymore. Dang. <laughs> yeah. So the, people are are naturally going to go out and look and see what type of how many reviews do they have? What type of reviews is the is the office responding to those reviews and get a little bit of a a, a snapshot of before they pick up the phone and choose uh, an office mm-hmm. to call, they're going to more than likely have done a, a fair amount of research. So in some ways, that's almost your first appointment, that digital branding and presence online. That's awesome. So, Scott, that being said, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want to connect and they want to learn more, a two-part question, final question. Um, first off, I know you I know it's, um, you work with more than just dentists. Um, so that being said, first off, what are the right types of of clients that you like working with, number one. Number two, what's the best way for them to reach out? Sure. Um, we really like to work with uh, private practice owners, and it's the range goes from, you know, dentists, oral surgeons, plastic surgeons, medical spas. It's kind of a – we don't do anything that's, that's automated or templated. It's all a, a case-by-case basis to make sure – so there's a little bit of a screening component just to make sure it's a match both on our side of the fence as well as the doctor. And if you want to get in touch with me, we the website is Breakthrough Dental Marketing, all one word, dot com. And uh, LinkedIn would be another good place to catch me, and it's uh, just linkedin.com slash Breakthrough Dental Marketing. Fantastic. Well, Scott, really appreciate having you on the show today. Tell us a little bit more about what you're doing to help our uh, medical professionals succeed out there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give that a subscribe, but also leave us some comments in the comment section. I mean, love to know what kind of uh, projects and things that you're working on. And Scott, thanks again for coming on the show. Happy to be here. I enjoyed it.